Well, continuing our talk with people that uh, were affected by the tragedy 40 years ago, and uh, with me is Jill. And Jill, you were actually in Summerland yourself at the time. That's a Manx correct. girl, although you're now living in Australia. You're I here. do live in Australia, yes. Uh, can you bear to take us through your memories of that night, please? Um, they're, they're actually very, very vivid memories. Um, as I said, I was nine. I was with my eldest sister, Jacqueline, and um, she actually saw what happened, the fire starting, yes. um, but then there was absolute mayhem and uh, my sister and I were actually in the newspaper the next, the next day I believe, or two days afterwards, and in regards to um, Jacqueline actually seeing who started the fire, but I don't actually want to go into that because there's a lot of innuendos, there's a lot of different stories of how it actually started, but Jacqueline actually saw how it started and there was nothing anyone could do because there was a lot of um, locked doors, etc., etc. Well, I mean, the press went with there was three kids in a there little was, building there with a the, cigarettes. There was no, no. That's, that's complete, and that's what? that's not true at all. Sorry, but that's, if, that's... If, if you go through the archives of 1973, the newspapers there, it will give you the facts from my eldest sister Jacqueline Adams on how it actually started in the yellow box with the hay in it. Um, and it was kids mucking around, two young boys mucking around. So, and as I say, you know, there's a lot of stories going over yeah. the internet, you know, from the past, who was there, this happened, that happened. It's a lot of misconception, and, and I'm actually really quite peeved about that because sure. my sister was the one who saw it actually happen. Sure. And uh, amongst that mayhem, everyone started to panic because the place went up very, very fast. And you know, my, my recollection, I was nine years old, my sister was three years older than me. Um, but as I say, if you go through the 1973 Manx papers, you will see a photo of my sister and I in there. In, in regards to that fire, um, it was sheer mayhem. The place just melted, melted. And it's, it's a memory that has never left me since I was nine years old. Um, I do believe I was passed over by an entertainer. I can't remember his name, but that's also in the paper. As I say, I was nine, I'm almost 50 now. And um, it was hell, it was hell. And my heart goes out to all the people that were lost. And my sister and I survived. And you got out? through the main entrance, I mean, you hear about these no, locked I doors, was, I, was, I was taken over the wall on the far side of Summerland. I was, I was passed down over the wall. I personally don't remember that. I was nine yeah. because it was panic, yeah. it was shock. Um, you know, there's, there's a, there's, what, what disappoints me is, you know, I mean, everyone has their memories, everyone has their losses, you know, but at the same time, Stories get twisted, yeah, and that's what breaks my heart. What do you get out of this tonight? This gathering of people and this memory 40 years on. I I think it's a lovely thing that has occurred. Personally, wrong place. I've been here since Wednesday from Australia, and my my, my school friend Sarah took me past Summerland. I was quite horrified that Summerland was rebuilt. Why? I will never know. Summerland was Summerland. Summerland was a place to share amazing memories, but came with tragedy. And now there's still a bit left on the, the side of the old aquadrome bit. Just a that should be that should be turned into a memorial garden. Not here. Not here. I'm quite bitter about that. But that's my own opinion. A lot of people wouldn't agree with me because we're, we're all allowed our opinions. But I believe something should be done with that face, that face rock there. You know, it's something really beautiful at the bottom for people to have happy memories again. Not, not drive past it and, and remember the tragedy day in, day out. Because it's already here. We don't have to visually see it, you know. Do you think this will be your last trip back from Australia for this sort of thing? Well, this has been on my bucket list for two years, in all honesty. Um, I haven't seen a lot of my friends for 33 years. 
and you know I follow everything to do with the Isle of Man on Facebook. So it makes nostalgia, my old school Onkin, and Balakameen, you know, everything like that. Isle of Man is still beautiful. It holds amazing memories for me as a child. You know, overall there was this thing about not talking about it for a long time. Did you kind of gather that, that now suddenly there's I, more acceptable to grieve almost? It is and it isn't. I actually anticipate a lot more people here. A lot more people here. There's a lot of angry people, there's a lot of disappointed people, there's a lot of people that have just decided they accept it in their own way. For me, personally, it's, it's almost closure now. And I've waited 40 odd years for it. And I'm now 49, so it's been a long time. Long time.